Welcome to another production of Park TV 16 Sports on location. Tonight we are in Minnetonka, Minnesota at the Minnetonka Ice Arena bringing you girls varsity hockey non-conference. Hopkins St. Louis Park Royals at home coming in with 11 and 13 and 0 record and Two Rivers St. Paul Riveters a conglomerate of high schools in the east side out of the Metro East Conference coming in with a 10, 12, and 2 record. There's that sheet of ice, and tonight is senior night for Hopkins Royals. We're honoring three of the distinguished seniors on that team, and we'll be looking for that right there on your screen. I'm Robert Christensen. Glad you're with us. We're streaming live on YouTube, and again, this is Park TV 16 Sports. So the three seniors that we're honoring tonight are Sophia Hoffman, number 14, Liz Helling, number 20, and Zoe Wyatt, number 33. And they're going to be coming out on the ice for their honors right now. Oh, okay. I there so Oh, okay. So, I am back with you. I was listening to the PA announcer here at the arena as they're describing who the seniors are. So, since uh, the home audience can't hear us, I will fill it in. That is Sophia Hoffman. And she's going to be going on to college, although I didn't catch where. She isn't have any plans or doesn't have any plans to play hockey in college. But Sophia Hoffman is their leading scorer coming in this season. She has 16 goals along with six assists, and there you can see her proud parents. And now we've moved on to number 20. That is Liz Helling. Her plans after high school include intend, or attending Rochester Institute of Technology in New York, majoring in environmental sustainability plus hockey for fun, as she says. And those are her two lovely parents. Obviously very proud of her. For all three seniors that we're honoring tonight, they have some nice poster boards with a lot of pictures that show these young women growing up playing hockey from diapers all the way on up till now. Some of it might be embarrassing for these players, but uh, it's a nice honor here. And they're doing a really nice job. And a round of applause for senior Liz Helling. And last, but certainly not least, is number 33, JV captain, Zoe Wyatt. So this is the Z JV captain, Zoe Wyatt. Obviously has a lot of personality there. She comes out with those nice bouquet of flowers. And they have a nice brochure here talking about each of these three fine athletes. Plans after high school, it's written here. I plan to go to the University of Tennessee to study education. So we got a teacher, maybe a future coach as well. And that's her family there. All looking very proud. Looks like her brother is a hockey player there. He's got the St. Louis Park colors going. And those are our three seniors. Again, they're taking on the St. Paul Two Rivers Riveters, coming all the way over from St. Paul on a cold 10 degree night here. Again, glad you're with us on Park TV 16 Sports. They're still making some announcements. 
Lining up for a photograph there. They'll have that for the rest of their lives. Those senior year in high school, lots of uh, endings all throughout the year, depending on the sports or other co-educational programs. But as I recall way back then, it was just a lot of stuff like this all year long and uh, a reason to be proud for sure for the parents and the high school kids as they are approaching graduation this spring. It'll give me an opportunity to talk about the Two River St. Paul Riveters. They are coached by Mike Blase. I think I'm pronouncing that right, hopefully. And they come in the last five games. They've got two wins, two ties, and a loss. And again, as I indicated, they're 10, 12, and 2. St. Louis Park comes in with a nearly identical record, 11 and 13, not a quite exactly the same. All right, so we're going to take a break, and then we're going to come back with live action from Minnetonka Ice Arena. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports. Glad you're with us on a Friday night. We'll be right back. Yeah, military life can have its challenges, but sometimes veteran life brings more. As America's veterans face challenges, DAV is there. My name is Greg Gadsden, 26-year Army veteran. With the right support, more veterans can reach victories great and small. DAV helps veterans like me get all the benefits they've earned, and that can be a life changer. DAV provides a lifetime of support to veterans of every generation, helping more than a million veterans each year. Today, I'm an entrepreneur, photographer, and public speaker. With the right support, there are no limits. And I never tire of standing tall. But there's more to be done and more victories to be won. My victory is just being the best that I can be. Greg Gadsden, thank you for your service. May your victories inspire many more. Support more victories for veterans. Go to DAV.org. To another production of Park TV 16 Sports on location. Tonight we are in Minnetonka, Minnesota, bringing you girls varsity hockey featuring the home Hopkins Park Royals taking on the visiting Two Rivers St. Paul Riveters coming all the way over from the Metro East Conference facing the Metro West Conference foe of Hopkins Park. And there is Caitlin Galizzi, just a ninth grader. There's her goals against average, a low 1.58. She'll be on the right there in dark uniforms. There's their logo, the Riveters, with the big muscle and the forearm. I'm Robert Christensen. Glad you're with us here on Park TV 16 Sports Senior Night for Park Hopkins. And we're about to begin as we look at their goaltender. That's Evelyn Osland. She comes in with a goals against average of 3.41. Both these teams have almost identical records and we're underway at Minnetonka Ice Arena. Again, glad you're with us. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports. We're streaming live on YouTube and we're underway and the Riveters have it in the Hopkins zone and now they try to clear the zone and they just do to neutral ice. That is picked up by number 16 for the Riveters. That is Faye Leitner. She's a, also a ninth grader. So a lot of young players out there to start. A couple ninth graders already we've mentioned. And now behind the net, number 14, that is Sophia Hoffman, kept in at the point, at the blue line, Riveters putting the pressure on, and Hopkins trying to get possession. Hoffman spins on it, gets it out to neutral ice. Now picked up and across the line on the right side is number 15, that is Rowan Jansen, a sophomore. Now in the Riveters zone as they try to clear it. Kept in on the point nicely there by number 25, Lindsay Shugard, a junior, now behind the net. Riveters take over, skating with it nicely, bringing it up, number five. That is Bryn Christofferson, another ninth grader. Three so far we've mentioned. Now Hopkins takes it over, tries to clear the zone, they do, but it's intercepted right at center ice by number three for the Riveters. That is Idy Halverson. Now they skate it behind the net in the corner now. Number three, again Halverson. Out to the blue line, kept in nicely there by number 22, Josie Daly. A senior, now Hopkins Park clears it and it may be an icing call. And it is our first icing call of the game. Comes with 15.24 to go. No score in the first period. And they'll bring it all the way back down into the Hopkins zone and there'll be a face-off to 
The goaltenders, Evelyn Oslin's left. In to take the draw for the Royals, number 20. That's Liz Helling, one of the seniors they honor tonight. Draw one by the Royals, at least initially. Kept in, though, along the far boards by the Riveters. Now with it, number 16, that is Faye Leitner. As the puck comes into the near corner now. Getting there first, again, Sophia Hoffman. Puck hung up in the corner there. They never blow the whistle on those. They'll make them work it out. Still poking at it, and the puck comes loose. The Riveters have it behind the net. That's number four, Johnson. Puck right in the crease, gets cleared out and all the way down, and no icing, or are they gonna call icing? They are, another icing call. Stops the clock with 14.49 to go, and they'll bring it all the way down. So two icings so far, no score, no shots on goal either. This time the faceoff will be to Oslin's right. Hoffman to take the draw, she wins it for the Royals. Into the near corner. The so Riveters put the pressure on, on the four check. Nice outlet pass to center ice. The Royals, number 13, that is Avery Shaw, a captain. She skates it into the corner. And the Royals will try to set up some stability here on the offensive end for the first time tonight. Quick wrist shot, fans on it, then she gets her own rebound. That's Shaw, and it's saved by the goaltender for the Riveters, Galazi. There was Shaw, the fan, got it right back. She was on the doorstep and just couldn't quite get there before. It was smothered with the glove, and now it'll be the first faceoff in the Riveters zone. Will be to her left. Face-off won by the Royals. They shoot it into the corner. Shoot it around behind the net. Centering pass, no, back behind the net. Now in the corner. Royals try to set up shop here on offense. Centering pass, and the Riveters are there, and she's going to go down. No call on that. That could have been a tripping. And now we do have a whistle on the near boards, but it wasn't from the referee, or was it? Not sure what that call. Here was this replay, and that's a trip if I ever saw one, and it will not be called. And for some reason, I don't understand why the faceoff is in the corner. There's our corner camera. We've got three cameras here, Robert, Maddie, and Cameron. Paul in the, in the book, in the truck, I should say, our producer. Glad you're with us again. Right in front, and a wrist shot goes right at the midsection. And a nice save there by number 30, Evelyn Oslin, the junior. But there was number four, Ella Johnson, with a nice looking shot. Also a great save. Our corner camera once again. There's Oslin focusing in on that face off. And it's won by the Royals. That's number 21, skating in the neutral road. That was Casey Hellstrom. And it gets intercepted in the own zone. And now here come the Riveters. They've got a head of steam on the right side, bringing it across is number eight, LV Daly. She spins on it, and it's taken away by the Royals behind the net to number 17. That is Sophia Castilla. Kept in at the point, wrist shot, but taken by number 22, Josie Daly, the senior. Kept in by the Riveters. And now the Royals come away with it. They get it to neutralize. And the Riveters will shoot it right back in and change on that dump and chase. Getting there first behind the net is number 24 for the Royals. That's Summer Sewer, also a ninth grader. Now the Riveters take it over on the four check and a quick shot goes all the way through. It may have been tipped in front. Nice save by Oslin. She kicks out another one with that right pad now in the near corner. Kept in at the point, wrist shot taken by number five, Bryn Christofferson, and that came very close. Brought a visceral reaction from the crowd. Another quick shot, Oslin can't see it right away, but the puck disappears, that draws the whistle, and there'll be a face-off, and that is the first sustained effort by the Riveters on offense tonight, and they almost got one by, but Oslin is equal to the task. Four shots on goal so far for the Riveters, one for the Royals, and here's that replay right here. Quick wrist shot, bouncing puck. And I'm not sure Oslin saw that all the way, but she was in a great position to make that save. And now another shot gets right through. She has been very good with that right pad. Three saves, already memorable tonight. Good shot on goal, another wrist shot from the near point. That was taken by Isabel Hernandez. Another ninth grader. 
Now the Royals take it over. That is 13. Avery Shaw, the junior captain. It goes all the way down. And another icing call. That's the third one on the Royals. That'll stop the clock once again. 12.15 to go. And the Riveters have the advantage right now. They've put on more pressure on the offensive end with those five shots. And now they're going to get another face-off opportunity deep in the Hopkins zone. Looks like Shaw there to take the draw for the Royals. She wins it into the corner, but the Riveters come away with it. Centering pass, intercepted by Hopkins Park, and now they try to break out along the near boards, and they do get it to center ice, and that's Shaw with a little bit of room on the left side. Across the line, wrist shot, right on goal. Pad saved by number 31, Caitlin Gelazi. The shot bouncing right there. That could have been dangerous. Shot taken by Shaw, just goes through the crease. Now picked up by number 22. That is Josie Daly. And intercepted right in front by number 15. That is Rowan Jansen. The sophomore had an almost golden opportunity there. Two shots on goal now for Park. Hopkins, Royals. And behind the net, number nine does a nice job outletting that. That's Kate Rubish, the junior forward. Now Rubish gives it up to number four for the Riveters, Ella Johnson. She goes down. Puck remains in the Royal zone. And Johnson gets it again. Tries to clear it, and it's intercepted by number 21. That is Casey Hellstrom. And she brings it across. Rink-wide pass to the far side. Off the boards, played by Lindsay Shukard for the Royals. Now behind the net. Royals looking for the first goal tonight here on senior night. Now intercepted by number five. That is Bryn Christofferson. And the puck comes out to neutralize. Picked up by number six, Lyndon Luz. Luz is a junior. Now a quick wrist shot on the interception taken by number eight, LV Daly. Three Dailies on this team, I believe, must be related, you would think. Sounds like a St. Paul name. And she niftily worked her way into a position with a nice wrist shot, but Oslin was right there to handle it. Right at eye level, relatively easy save. Six shot on goal, face off. One by the Riveters, quick wrist shot from the blue line. Nice rebound, but only the Royals there to pick it up and clear it. But it's kept in by number five at the point, Christofferson. Riveters now, still with it. And it's intercepted by number four, Lucy Johnson. Johnson dumps it in right on net. A tough little short hop there for the goaltender, Galizzi. She handles it well and lets it go. Now the Riveters try to clear it. Kept in, though, by the Royals into the corner. That's number four, Lucy Johnson. Now coming right in, right on the crease. Puck loose in front. Stabbing at it was number 20, Liz Helling. Couldn't get it to go. Puck now in the far corner. Riveters come away with it, at least momentarily. Nice spin move there by number five. That is Christofferson. And now across the line into the neutral zone. Weaving her way through is Zoe Moore. Just an eighth grader for the Riveters. Now into the corner. Rivers putting the pressure on again. Most of the action has been in the Royal zone, but our score still remains 0-0, and we're approaching nine and a half minutes to go, period number one. Now coming off the bench, that's Shaw. She's got some speed. She backhands it in the zone, and she'll chase it. She gets there first. You can see that speed on display right there. Number 22, Daly was there, tried to compete with her for it, and now it comes out into the neutral ice. On the far side, getting there first. She's got someone open right in front. The pass was behind her, and Shaw was able to deflect it back onto the sideboards. And now here come the Royals. That is Shaw coming across the line. Nice poke check there by the Riveters. Shaw still hanging in there with it. Centering pass right on the stick of number 15, Rowan Jansen, and that puck gets deflected right in front. Now along the near board, picked up by number 22. That is Josie Daly. In the corner now, puck tied up momentarily. Comes loose, nice job there by Number 14, Sophia Hoffman, as she came away with that. Riveters try to bounce it out. Kept in nicely by number 25. That is Lindsay Shukard, and now it comes all the way down, and we're going to have an icing call on the Riveters. First time on them tonight. Nope, they wave it off. Royals now will have to break it out on their own without the benefit of that icing call. Not sure why they didn't call that icing. Riveters now intercepted at neutral ice, and they shoot it in, and now there's your icing whistle. 
look much less onerous of an icing. It was just over the center line, but icing all the same. That stops the clock with 8.17 to go. Shots have evened up. Six now for the Royals, seven for the Riveters. And we'll have a face-off in the Riveters zone to Galizzi's left. No score here. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports. We're streaming live on YouTube. We've got three cameras and our famous corner camera bringing those cool views from that corner. Very unusual in any hockey broadcast that I've ever seen. Glad you're with us. All right, now in the far corner, the Riveters come away with it. Nice outlet pass coming across the line into the neutral zone. That is number three for the Riveters. Halverson right in on Oslin and she's able to scoop it up and Avoid the danger there. Nice save by Oslin. Eighth shot on goal. Here's that replay from our corner camera. Look at that view. Gorgeous. Here's that wrist shot. You can see the whole thing right there. Players coming in. Kicking up some stuff there. All right. Face off comes with 7.56 to go to the right of Oslin. Face off won by the Royals. And coming out with it nicely is number 34 for the Royals. That is Cameron with them, a junior, and that puck comes right in. And Galizzi there, now right in front, and almost a goal there by number 20. She had a golden opportunity, Gretchen Fandel Thompson. Now here come the Riveters, right back down the other end. Wrist shot, goes hard right off the boards, now to the near side. So just like that, both teams had great opportunities. Now kept in at the point by number 22, Josie Daly. Now the Riveters applying pressure once again. Wrist shot deflected by Helling. Now on the far boards, getting there first is Lucy Johnson for the Royals. And they come away with it. That is Cameron with them and she'll dump it into the Riveters zone and the Royals will change and that gives the Riveters a chance to break it out. They do get it to neutralize. Along the near boards, played by number four, Ella Johnson. Now the Royals, number 15, comes away with it, Rowan Jansen. Jansen spins, both Riveters go down in the corner, and this could be a chance if they can get going. Here comes Jansen. Oh, she leads her into the corner now. Shaw couldn't quite catch up with that puck, and that's gonna allow the Riveters to catch up, but they had a chance there. Both of those Riveters were down on the ice in the far corner, and for a minute there, you thought they had a great chance to get numbers on their side, but the Riveters were able to get back on the miss cue on the passing there just briefly. Now here come the Riveters along the far side. They break in the neutral zone. Now coming off the bench just in time. Number 25, Fandel Thompson able to catch up with it. And now the Royals have it again in the Riveter zone. Tough angle wrist shot taken by number 14, Sophia Hoffman. And now the wrist shot from right in front taken by number six. That is Lyndon Luz, the eighth grader. And there's that replay wrist shot by Luz. Almost got tipped in front there, but Galizzi does a nice job. There she is, big smile there, making that save. Having a lot of fun out there playing hockey on a Friday night in Minnesota, and a cold night it is. Early February, again, glad you're with us. Now here come the Riveters, and it's deflected right at neutral ice and poked right back in. No offsides on the call, that's number 25. Shukard, now she'll get it in the near corner. That's number 21, Casey Hellstrom, the ninth grader. Hellstrom centering pass eludes Galizzi, and now here come the Riveters. As they break it out, and it's poke checked away, kept in by Luz. Nice play by number six there, and now we have a whistle, and there's an issue with the net and coming off its moorings. And there you can see the ref talking to Galizzi. Little tap on the helmet there. Boy, she is having a good time, and that's what you like to see, huh? Big smiles out there playing hockey. Okay, now face off though, more importantly and more serious for her. She's got five minutes, 34 seconds to go, period number one to keep the Royals out of that net. Shots on goal, almost even. Eight for the Royals, nine for the Riveters. Now the puck on the near boards, right at neutral ice. Right in front of our cameras and our vantage point here. Now the Royals have it. 34, Cameron with them. Intercepted by the Riveters, number 12, Paige Nowak. And now the Royals come away with it. Kept in at the point nicely there by Bryn Christofferson. Now to the near boards. Centering pass, intercepted by St. Louis Park, and they're gonna shoot it down the ice, and that's gonna be another icing call it is. 
And that stops the clock with 4.55 to go. We're broadcasting live from the Minnetonka Ice Arena on Park TV 16 Sports. We're streaming live on YouTube. You see some of the home crowd enjoying a Friday night after a hard, long week of school here in the wintertime. Having a great time. All right, now face off to Oslin's right. She's been perfect in nets as well tonight. Turned away all nine shots. Now face off. Winds up on the far boards and it's dug out there nicely by the Royals, Avery Shaw. Now back in their own zone. That's number 22 with some nifty stick work. Josie Daly now at mid-ice, played by number four, Ella Johnson. Johnson sticks with it and scoots it into the no near corner. Now here come the Royals away with it. Lots of turnovers back and forth. Pretty freewheeling pace here late in the first period. Unlike at the early stages of the first period, both teams starting to open it up a little bit. There's a centering pass, nobody there. Goes rink wide along the boards, getting there first. Number 16, Bryn Etzel. And now the puck at neutral ice. Royals play it, now coming off the bench. With number 25 for the Riveters, almost got her stick on it, Zoe Moore. An eighth grader now, a wrist shot blocked in front. That was taken by Rowan Jansen. And a nice defensive play by the Riveters, preventing that puck from getting all the way to Galizzi. Now, puck taken away by the Royals. They're doing a nice job digging those pucks along the boards. So far, haven't equated into any goals. 340 remaining period, number one. Puck at neutral ice, 22. Josie Daly, she loses it. Now it's picked up by, I believe that's number 27. That is Allison Picha Barrera coming right in the wrist shot, deflects. And out of play, and that draws the whistle, and there'll be a face-off. That was a bang-bang play right here. Look at her set herself up, lets that wrist shot fly, and it deflects off Kalizzi. Boy, that was point-blank range. Casey Hellstrom, the ninth grader for the Royals, had an excellent opportunity, but Kalizzi, equal to the task, deflects it out of play. That stops the clock with 3.25 to go. Shots on goal are now even at nine. Okay, face-off. Controlled by the Riveters, at least momentarily. Now played back in by number 34, Cameron with them. So the Royals now are starting to apply some sustained pressure. Riveters trying to clear the puck and having trouble doing so. Now they get it and they do break it out. That's number 16, Fade Leitner. Leitner now skates after it into the boards behind the net. And it comes loose right to the Royals. Nice job digging it out there. I think that again was number six, Lyndon Luz, who's having a great first period. Had a great shot on goal and a couple of nice defensive plays, including that one right there. Now Luz again. Oh, the puck eludes her, allows the Riveters to come in and try to take it away along the near boards. Centering pass is deflected and puck still behind the net. Now centering pass, oh, she couldn't hit the point. She splits the defense and they wave off icing. 2.30 to go, period number one. Here come the Riveters with a full head of steam. Outlet pass intercepted by Shaw. Shaw now gets it to number 33. That is Zoe Wyatt, another senior that was honored tonight. Now Royals keep it in. Into the corner, Shaw gets their second. Getting their first was number five, Bryn Christofferson, as they try to clear it, and they do. Here comes number six for the Riveters, Isabella Sundahl. She comes right in, that shot misses the mark, deflects into the far corner. Getting there first, number 12, Paige Nowak. She slaps at it now. Coming away are the Royals. That is Sophia Hoffman on the far side. And she'll dump the puck and change along with Shaw. That's their top line. They're their big knocker scores. 142 remaining. Now the Royals in the far corner. Now the Riveters come away with it. Nice spin move there by number five. Once again, playing well tonight. Bryn Christofferson. Now rink wide pass and the Riveters will change. Quickly getting it and bringing it into the neutral zone. Number 24, Summer Sewer. And deflected by the Riveters. Now they've got a two on one on the right side. That's number nine. Rubich comes right in and Oslin makes the save. Acrobatic save with the pad again. Another shot wide left. Deflects off the backboards. Now on the far side, picked up by number four. Johnson coming right in. Plenty of Royals there to help out Oslin in nets. We approach one minute to go in period number one right now. And there's our corner camera showing all that great action. 
Now getting there in the far corner, that's Lindsay Shukard, and she clears the puck nicely ahead to number 21. That is Hellstrom. Hellstrom, though, gets ridden off the puck, but a nice backhand wrist shot. That goes wide left. It may have been deflected. That shot taken by number 17. Sophia Cotilla, the sophomore. 38 seconds remaining period, number one. No score here so far. Puck lost, taken away by the Riveters. 30 seconds to go. And they'll have an opportunity for a rush. Now coming in and getting stood up nicely by number 18. Bella Bisbee comes over and puts up the defense. But the Riveters still manage to keep it in until right there. 15 seconds remaining. What a hit by number 18 on defense. Although they're not supposed to check. She was obstructionist and she did a nice job. Showed a lot of courage and just standing up the offense right at that blue line. Now in the near corner. Two seconds remaining. Wrist shot, one last shot right as the buzzer goes off. And another pad saved by Oslin will end period number one. As we look at this replay, the last second wrist shot right there just goes wide left, hard along the boards. And our score after one complete zeros across, come on back for period number two. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports. We're streaming live on YouTube. Glad you're with us. What to expect when you're expecting a teenager. Today we're talking about how to wake up your teen, and this works literally every time. Give kisses. Give kisses. You heard how loud I, that no, was. I heard, that. I heard. It wasn't you. Yeah. It was the... Is that bacon? You don't have to know it all to be a perfect parent. Thousands of teens in foster care will love you just the same. Back to Park TV, 16 sports on location. We are in between periods number one and two, between the Hopkins Park Royals and the Two Rivers St. Paul Riveters. Our score is 0 0. Both teams evenly matched here. Been a defensive battle between both goaltenders, Oslin and Galizzi. Shots are even at 10 to 11. And before we begin play here, I do want to make an announcement from the Hopkins Park Booster Club. Vicki Shaw wanted everyone to know watching and here at the arena that there is a fundraiser going on right here at the rink and they have a table down in the corner. It's called Team Tucker's Team 16 Fundraising Campaign. And Team Tucker is an organization, you can see it on your screen, helping children who are fighting life-threatening diseases in need of opportunities to play, laugh, and love as they battle these terrible diseases. The organization started in memory of Tucker Hellstrom who lost his battle to bone cancer. Tucker's younger sister, Casey Hellstrom, number 21, we've announced her name several times in the first period, is now on the varsity team. Hopkins Park is raising funds in conjunction with the Hopkins Boys High School team for Team 16. You can check out their website, just Google it, and please donate generously for Tucker's Team 16. All right, play back underway. Again, no score. I'm Robert Christensen. Glad you're with us on Park TV 16 Sports as we're streaming live on YouTube. This time, the Riveters will be defending the goal to our left and the puck now right in front and right off the bat, Park Hopkins getting the pressure on. And now the near boards, that's Luz and I called her out. She's having a really good game so far tonight in the first period and she gets in on the action right away here to begin the second. And a Luz again with it. Really starting to establish herself out there on this game tonight. Now backhanded in by number 14, that was Sophia Hoffman. Now the Riveters will try to clear the puck and it's kept in along the far boards this time by number 11. That is Katie Geyser, a sophomore for the Royals. And the Riveters finally break the zone after one full minute of play. 17 minutes on the clock to start the period. We're already at 16 to go. And now the Riveters with a quick wrist shot and another right pad saved by Oslin. She's got that move down in nets with that right pad especially. Now the Royals behind the net. They try to clear their own zone. Nifty Lee skating out of it for the Royals. Along the far boards. Still with it, and now she loses it. And the Royals come back with it. Number four, that's Lucy Johnson. And now the Riveters try to come away with it. 
They bank it off the near boards and coming in, Geyser keeps it in and gets it over to number four, Johnson. Johnson comes in with the backhand, holds on to it. Pad saved by Galizzi. Johnson now will come back along the side and try to gun it right in there. Wrist shot, blocked in front, puck still loose and Galizzi gets her left paw out there to smother the puck with that left glove to stop the threat. But right here, Lucy Johnson came right in, got there. Point blank range, but look at Galizzi with a perfect angle to shut down that shot. And she goes down to the ice, makes that save. Her 12th of the night, no score on the board. Goaltenders are battling it out. Now quickly off the face off, the puck finds its way right back to Galizzi for another save. That one ostensibly a little easier than the one she just saw. Looking a little weary here early in the second. 15.04 to go. Face off, one by the Royals, number 16, Bryn Etzel. Quick wrist shot by Etzel, another save, loose in puck. Loose in front, I should say, the Riveters come away with it. Another golden opportunity goes by the wayside for the Royals, and now here come the Riveters on the other side. That's number four with it. Johnson, and now, nicely, the Royals poke check it away. Now back into their own zone, getting it there first is number 16, that is Bryn Etzel. Etzel getting harassed from behind. Nice spin move by Etzel. She breaks it out behind her goal. Banks it along the boards and gets out. Are they going to call icing? Yes, they are. Unless the Royals can get there first, but they don't. And that draws the whistle, and that will stop the clock as we look at this replay and look at Etzel do her job right here. Gets that wrist shot. Nice looking play. Galizzi able to get in front of it. It was right there for the taking for Sophia Hoffman and just found its way out of the net. Had Kalizzi taken a breather, skating out of that crease, not a bad idea. A little, little walk around is a good thing when you're feeling that kind of pressure in nets for sure. Now here come the Royals again. She's got to get ready and now the Riveters get there first and poke check it away. Nice job there by number 13 for the Rivety, Riveters. That's Grace Magnuson. And now the Royals take it back over on the four check and the corner, number 13. Avery Shaw gets it to the blue line. Shot in by Liz Helling along the near boards. Now into the corner, number 15, Rowan Jansen. Jansen comes away with it on her own and now skating off the puck with it. I think that was number eight for the Riveters, LV Daly. Royals still keeping it in. Now we're gonna have our first penalty of the night. And I believe it's gonna come against Park for, no, it's gonna go against the Riveters right here for hooking. Right in front of the official, the arm goes up. Nope, it is gonna be against the Royals. I see there in the box. I can't see the number. I'm not sure what that penalty was for then. Looks like the Royal went down. What'd you say? Here it is. Or yeah, the hooking is on the Royal there. There she goes, took her down. My fault there, obviously. So two minutes on the board. First power play opportunity for either team tonight comes in the second period with 13.42 to go. Face-off will be to Oslin's right. Let's see how the Riveters look with the player advantage. Two minutes on the board. They control the face-off. Quick one-timer taken by number five. That is Christofferson. It gets deflected in the corner. A lot of ice out there to work with for both these teams. That definitely favors the player advantage. Now at the inside, the blue line, wrist shot, loose in front. Rebound shot, missed by number nine. That was Kate Rubish. Now the Royals get it and clear the puck, but kept in right over the blue line. Otherwise, that saved quite a few seconds on the power play. As I look at the clock, 1.15 to go in the player advantage. Just under 13 minutes to go in period number two, and now it gets cleared all the way down as Galizzi comes out to stop it. And we'll have one minute to go right about now, here come the Riveters, and coming out from the far side was Helling to obstruct the Riveters, but now they do manage to get it in the zone. Can they maintain possession? Spinning along into the corner, number 10, Isabel Hernandez. Now in the far corner. Quick wrist shot, Oslin scoops it up with her left mitt, like Correa at shortstop. Very smooth by Oslin. We look at that replay. Nice save by Oslin. 
clock stopped with 12, 26 to go. 43 seconds remaining in the player advantage. Riveters win the faceoff. Number 10 with it. Hernandez. And it gets cleared again by the Royals. They're doing a nice job on the penalty kill so far. Their first opportunity tonight. Riveters back in their own zone. A little four check there by the Royals and they'll get back. In on that four check was Casey Hellstrom. The older sister of Tucker's. Now Riveters right in front. Nine seconds to go on the player advantage. Shot taken by number 22. That is Josie Daly. This is the mark. One second left in the player advantage. Both teams at full strength. Skating out was Rowan Jansen. She's calling for it as she comes in. Now she gets her stick on the puck and now she'll turn. And she's got two minutes of rest and now she's got the puck on her stick. Wrist shot. Goes hard over the crossboard and that brought a groan from the crowd of how hard that shot was. Great response by the Royals after having to kill that penalty. Oftentimes that player in the box gets in on that action right away and that was Rowan Jansen's role right there. She's still on the ice trying to fight for that puck. Now the Riveters trying to clear it and it gets back behind Galizzi and nice job and now intercepted by Jansen. She had two minutes to think about it and she's out there producing for sure. Now number 14 Johnson plays it back into the zone and Jansen's still out there. Johnson has, or Hoffman has it. She's their leading scorer with 16 on the season, six assists. Now Shaw, the second leading scorer, and there's the pass to Hoffman in the first goal for the Royals, and bang, bang, Shaw to Hoffman. Their two leading scorers get the Royals on the board first. Full strength goal. Watch this replay. Jansen. It's taken away, then right there, Shaw hustling, pokes it away, turns, keeps her head up, sees Hoffman right in front, and the one-timer beats Galizzi for goal number one. That goal comes with 10.37 to go. And on senior night, the Royals are up 1-0 with 10.30 to go, period number two. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports as we look at our corner camera right there. Bang, bang, play. Galizzi did not have enough speed to get over. And now the Royals in their own zone. Official score, Hoffman from Shaw. one nothing our score. Shots on goal now favor the Royals 16 to 14 as we are at the 10 minute mark in period number two. We are streaming live from Minnetonka Ice Arena. Glad you're with us tonight on a cold early February Friday. What better can you want to do in Minnesota than on a Friday night and watch high school hockey? And this has been a very good game so far, very defensive. And that was as pretty a goal as you'll ever see from Shaw to Hoffman to put him up one nothing. Now, the Riveters at neutral ice, will they respond? They dump the puck into the zone, getting there first are the Royals, number 18. That is Bella Bisbee. And a little push there, goes the limiter goes down, look to the official almost maybe for a plea for a penalty there, but no go, no dice as they say. Now the Royals intercept it, outlet pass misses. Tried to get it ahead to Lucy Johnson and now the Riveters dump it in, that's number 17. Aubrey Cunningham, the sophomore for the Riveters. Riveters trying to get some offense here in period number two, and they are having a much more difficult time than they did in period number one. That can only mean the Royals' defense is tightened up here in period number two. Now the Riveters go down, and they're going to call a hook on number 25. Lindsay Sukard is going to go for two. The hook happening right at the blue line. Here it is. Just got her a little bit. And there she sits, so penalty power play coming up for the Riveters. I believe this is their second opportunity of the night. As we look at the corner camera and the hook, oh, maybe a little bit of an acting job, but if you can sell it, that's part of the game. Nice job by the Riveters getting that penalty. 
Wasn't the worst hook I've ever seen, that's for sure. Okay, 8.38 to go, and now that puck gets by the defense all the way down. So nice start to the penalty kill for the Royals as we have eight and a half minutes to go. Now Shaw comes right in, drops her stick wisely. She could have gone down for hooking right there. That was a veteran move right there. She didn't want to put her team down two skaters, that's for sure. Brilliant. Now here come the Riveters on the far side across the line. Down goes number 22 for St. Paul. That is Josie Daly. And now here come Shaw on the shorthanded. Coming in, tries to do the crossover, just gets poke checked away at the last minute by Isabel Hernandez, the ninth grader for the Riveters. Now puck in the far corner, and they're chewing up that clock nicely. Look at the four play. Shaw starting to dominate behind the net. Try to get it in front. Got double teamed, lost it momentarily. Now she's still playing it, and all this is great power play killing stuff, isn't it? Now here come the Riveters as they break out. Number three with it. That is Edie Halverson, the sophomore. Here she comes right in, wrist shot, and screened was Oslin. That's a tough save to make with her defense right in front of her. I'm not sure she saw it. But playing a perfect game here so far as we're now well past the midway point of period number two, 7.20 to go. Our score, one nothing, and right across the crease, that was dangerous, but nobody home for the Riveters to make it pay. Now on the far side, Jansen clears it nicely. 23 seconds on the power play. That brings a round of applause from some of the home fans here. Now, number five gets there first, Christofferson, but she gets bumped up the puck. And now here comes Johnson. She's got the first. No, that's Rowan Jansen. She goes down. No call, nor should there have been. Now a face off. No, a centering pass gets all the way through. And two seconds to go on the power play. And that's going to be an icing on the Riveters with two seconds to go on their power play. So nice job by the Royals killing that. And that'll stop the clock with 6.49 to go as we get a good look there at number 17. Sophia Cotilla, the sophomore, and there's our corner camera. Cameron's on our corner camera. We got the three C's. Cameron on the corner camera on Park TV 16 Sports, and that is a great angle, doing a great job. And now here come the Riveters. Number 25 with it, they shoot it across the line. Zoe Moore, Moore still with it. Showing some speed there at the point. Number 10, Hernandez, shoots it into the far corner. Now, back out to Hernandez, a wrist shot. Gets deflected in front, rebound on the stick of the Royals. And now on the lawn, the near boards, number 25, Lindsay Sukart plays it. Gets it to center ice, to Hellstrom, and she gets pushed off, and that could have Maybe been a check, no checking officially allowed in girls high school hockey. But they do play tough out there and there is contact. Don't make any mistake about that. Six minutes to go, period number two. Wrist shot and a glove save by Oslin, who's really playing well tonight in nets for the Royals. So far, perfect, having faced 18 shots. This being number 18, quick wrist shot and look at that quick glove. She eyed it right in there. Having a nice game there, Oslin. All right, face-off will be to her left. One by the Riveters, out to the point. Slapped at by 22, Josie Daly, now into the near corner. Centering pass, gets on the stick of the Royals. Number four, Lucy Johnson, and now back right in front of Oslin, and she steers it out of there, batting it away like Gorilla on the Empire State Building. Now here comes the Royals. Hoffman, Hoffman, no, excuse me, that's Lucy Johnson. Now in the far corner. Riveters come out with it now as the pace starts to pick up here with under five and a half to go. That's number four with it. Ella Johnson. Johnson gets skated off by number 16 for the Royals. Bryn Etzel, the captain. Now in the corner, played by number 16 for the Riveters. That's Fade Leitner. And the Royals, Lucy Johnson tries to steer it out of the zone. Kept in nicely though by those two Riveters. That was number nine, Kate Rubish. And the Royals come away with it again. Sophia Hoffman tries to poke check it away. It was almost intercepted right in front of her own goal as she got it back, fortunately, for the Royals. Now along the near boards. Number four, Lucy Johnson gets skated off by number 22, Josie Daly. Now picked up by the Riveters on the far side. And the pace is quickening here late in the second. You get the feeling that the Riveters are starting to feel a sense of urgency to get on this board here before the end of period number two on the road all the way over here in the western suburbs of Minneapolis. 
Would like to get a goal to tie it up. And right in front, there was almost an opportunity, but nicely recovering was number 20, Liz Helling. Now outlet pass to Shaw. Shaw now skates to the right. She's got some speed. Gets poke checked off nicely by number 20, Lorelai McMurray. Now along the far boards. Shot back in, right along her own bench. They wave off, and now that gives up the shot. She lets go with a hard wrist shot. Right in front of Galizzi, and it goes screaming over the crossbar. Hard against the back glass. Puck still alive on the far side. Royals trying to keep it in. Hoffman on the far side, comes out. Shot taken, I believe that was by number six, Lyndon Luz. And now it makes its way all the way back into the Royal zone. There's 3.37 to go, period number two. Now to the far side, Hoffman takes that pass, gets it out to center ice, gets it to number 25. That is Lindsay's shoe card. Now on the far corner, picked up by number 10 for the Riveters, Isabel Hernandez. Hung up along the far boards as the Royals try to keep it in the zone. Again, that is Luz. Using, look at her with her body, almost like a power forward. Keeping their defender on their hip like that. Great technique by Luz, who continues to impress tonight. Okay, now along the near boards. Shoe card. Etzel plays it behind. Now into the far corner. Under three minutes to go, period number two. Our score, one nothing. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports. Great action here late in period number two from Minnetonka Ice Arena. Now the Riveters behind the net, almost intercepted. Nice job recovering and almost kept in by Etzel. They wave off icing and it'll be a race. Who's gonna get there first? Look at Luz, dig it out with that hustle. She gets there first. I didn't think she would, but she certainly did. Now it gets out to neutral ice. Under two and a half to go, period number two. Icing waved off on that and a weird carom came right in front of Oslin there, but she was on it. She's played very well, very focused. Oh, nice spin move there by number five. Again, Bryn Kristofferson. She's done that several times tonight. She's got that tight spin move to get away from trouble. Down to a science. Now here comes number three, and there's gonna be a whistle as Halverson tried to come across the line, and I think that's gonna be an offside call on the Riveters, so there'll be a face-off just outside the blue line on the near side. That stops the clock with 1.59 to go in period number two. Draw controlled, at least initially, by the Royals. Yes, they do have it on the stick of number 11. That was Katie Geyser, the sophomore. She gets it to neutral zone, and here comes Shaw. On the left, she's got number 34 with them. Centering pass with them, just couldn't get her stick on it. Great defense in front by the Riveters, tying up with them as they are fighting for position down there. And Galizzi was right in the middle of it. She was able to burst through and see that puck and knock it down and make the save with 1.33 to go. That was incredible as the tussling right in front of the net as we look at Shaw come through. That wrist shot, she almost plucked that out of the air. You could see that from our corner camera. That would have been something if she had just got a nick of that. All right, now face off to the left of Galizzi. Puck still loose. Now it goes into the corner, getting there first are the Riveters, number 10, Isabel Hernandez. She goes down, puck loose in front. Wrist shot taken by Luz. There she is again. Now Hoffman with Shaw. Now along the near boards, Etzel. Centering pass. I was gonna say nobody home except for a riveter, but then it went right onto Rowan Jansen's stick and she had a nice opportunity there and that puck gets deflected in the far side. One minute to go, period number two from Minnetonka Ice Arena. You are watching Park TV 16 Sports. We're streaming live on YouTube. Less than a minute to go, period number two. Our score, one nothing. Shots almost even, 20 for the Royals, 19 for the Riveters, and now we have a whistle on the far boards. And the referee, there's, we look at the bench. Coaches Allie Duhlman and Tim Blase, or Blaze maybe, I'm not sure. And I don't see, I thought it might be a timeout. I'm not sure what that whistle was for, but there's gonna be a faceoff right away with 48.7 seconds left to go. Behind the net, that's Etzel, 16, comes away with it. 
Can the Royals get one more here before the end of period number two? That would be exactly what the doctor ordered. Nothing better than a two goal lead going into period number three on senior night. This is their last game of the regular season. Sections are already gonna start next week, it feels like. Season going by quickly here. Now Riveters look at that spin move once again by Bryn Kristofferson. She's got some speed and some agility, doesn't she? She breaks into the center, now across the line. Wrist shot was deflected by, I think, does that lose again? It is on defense. Linden lose having a game tonight. Now centering pass. And right there as the buzzer goes off. I'm not sure what it counted. But that ends period number two. Our score, one nothing Royals. Come on back for period number two. You're watching Park TV 16 Sports, streaming live on YouTube. New message. Department of the Social Security Administration. The reason of this call is to inform you that your social security number has been suspended for suspicion of illegal activity. If you do not contact us immediately, your account will be deactivated. For more information about this case file, press 1 or call immediately our department number. This is a scam. Thieves are misusing the Social Security Administration's authority and phone scheme to trick you into giving them money or personal information. They state there is a problem with your Social Security number or account. They claim there's been suspicious or fraudulent activity, and you could be arrested or face other legal action. They even spoof SSA's main customer service telephone number on caller ID. Don't believe them. Don't provide any information. SSA employees will never threaten you for information or promise benefits in exchange for information. In those cases, the call is fraudulent. Just hang up. If you suspect you've been contacted by an SSA scammer, call the Social Security Fraud Hotline at 1-800-269-0271. We're back on Park TV 16 Sports, streaming live on YouTube, about to begin period number three of this non-conference girls hockey matchup between the Metro East, Two Rivers, St. Paul Riveters coming in, taking on the home Park Hopkins Royals on senior night. We've honored three seniors at the beginning of tonight's match. And those seniors were Sophia Hoffman, number 14, the leading goal scorer, who has the one goal tonight for Park Hopkins. Also, Liz Helling, number 20, and Zoe Wyatt, number 33, being honored tonight. Their team is up 1-0. They're 11-13 and 13 on the year, trying to get back to that 500 mark, or close to it before sections start next week. This is their final game of the regular season, hence senior night. I'm Robert Christensen. Glad you're with us here on Park TV 16 Sports. And just hearkening back to that goal midway through the second period, it was a great play between Avery Shaw and Sophia Hoffman. Long-time teammates connecting there once again to score, giving Hoffman her 17th of the year. So we're underway on period number three. We're broadcasting live from Minnetonka Ice Arena, home of the Lake Minnetonka Figure Skating Club. Many famous skaters have started here, most namely Jill Trenery. I was watching or reading a thing of her in the lobby. She was the world champion in 1990 and placed fourth, I believe, in the 88 Olympics in Calgary. I remember watching her back in the day. So this is a storied arena here in Minnetonka. Great to be here. Okay, Park now as it gets dumped in by Shaw. Just underway here, period number three. Riveters looking to tie it up and skating free on the far side. That is number five. Bryn Christofferson backhand goes right across the crease in front of Oslin. They count that as a shot on goal, believe it or not. That's 21 now for the Riveters as compared to 20 for the Royals. Now the Riveters trying to get something going here early in the third, come away with that centering pass, gets deflected in front by Number 18, I believe, for the Royals. That was Bella Bisbee on defense there. Now the Riveters trying to keep the pressure on as they come out with a hop in their step here early in the third and now bringing it out nicely, using her body well to shield the puck. Cameron with them, the junior. And now the Riveters take it right back in their own zone with number 17, Aubrey Cunningham, the sophomore defender with it. And now the puck gets deflected, slapping at it once again. Number 18, Bisbee. And now, the Riveters behind the net, spinning on it. Number 17 in the near corner was again Aubrey Cunningham. 
for St. Paul, two rivers. And along the near boards, Luz gets by her, and now here comes the Riveters. That is number three, Edie Halverson. Her quick wrist shot just missed that far post. As Ozen got that left pad out there, but that was close and a really good opportunity for the Riveters early in the third as we're now under 15 minutes to go in regulation. Again, you're watching Park TV 16 Sports. We're streaming live on YouTube. Glad you're with us tonight. Great hockey action coming your way. We've got three cameras, including our corner camera. And now it gets shot in by number 10, Isabel Hernandez. Getting there first is Etzel. She spins on it into the corner. Luz has to get there, and quickly behind her was number 16 for the Riveters, Faye Leitner. And now shooting it into the corner, that was number 16, Leitner again. Now getting there first behind the net, number four, Ella Johnson. Etzel tries to clear the puck, kept in at the point by number 10, Isabel Hernandez. Her wrist shot almost found its way all the way to Oslin, then gets deflected in the near corner. The Riveters starting to put some pressure on. And the Royals get over there. That's Lyndon Luz, and she'll skate it out. Nice job by Luz, clearing that puck. Rather than just shooting it, she made sure by skating it all the way across the line. But now the Riveters dump the puck into the Royal zone, and they'll change on that sequence. Now Hoffman, nice job. She fans on it and does get in the neutral zone. Hoffman now gets it back. She shoots it in, and it gets right on goal. And Galizzi, number 31, the Riveters goaltender makes her 20, 20th save after 21 shots. And there's that wrist shot that just missed that post. She did get her pad on it, didn't she, Oslin? Just enough of it. She's faced 21 shots as well, and she's turned them all away. Now the Riveters ostensibly win that draw. Now kept in on the far side with the backhand. That was number 21, Casey Hellstrom. Just a ninth grader out there. Getting great varsity experience. Now the Riveters come out. And they break their zone. That was number eight getting it out, Evie Daly. Twenty-seven poked at it. That was Barrera, I believe, and now shot in by Hoffman. Gets back on her stick at the blue line and she wrist shots it wide right. Goes hard off the backboards. Getting there first, niftily getting it was Lindsay Shukard. Nice job as she got her stick around the defender and almost got possession of it. And she still fights for it, and now it gets deflected, and the Riveters now having a difficult time clearing their zone. They did struggle with that most of the way through the second, and now they're having difficulty, but now they're able to break it out this time. That's number 22, Josie Daly. Daly still with it all the way in. It gets poke checked off her stick by number 17. That is Sophia Cotilla. Nice job by Cotilla getting all the way down there with her speed and poking it right off the Riveter's stick and now clearing it on the far boards. That was number 33, Zoe Wyatt, the senior. Nice job as she cleared it off those boards and banked it into the neutral zone and that put the Royals into the offensive zone of the Riveters and that's Lucy Johnson now into the corner. As the Riveters now break into the neutral zone and back there is Rowan Jansen. She's being chased. She'll try to skate around and almost gets poke checked, but she still keeps it, poke checks it along the near boards and deflects it into the Riveters zone. But getting there next is number four, Ella Johnson, the junior forward for the Riveters. And oh, right there, keeping it in, almost keeping it in were the Royals. And now they get the puck back at neutralized blues. Jansen calling for it. She had an idea. She saw Shaw coming along the blue line. Oh, that puck almost came right on Shaw's stick in front of Galizzi. That would have been something. Now Hoffman in the corner. Quick pass to Shaw. Look at that lightning shot by Shaw. Deflected by Galizzi. Luz puts it on net almost. Now the rebound. Shaw's backhander just misses wide left. And now the puck comes all the way along the far boards into the neutral zone. And Rowan Jansen comes over with a nice defensive play there. What hustle by Rowan Jansen skating that puck. And now the wrist shot by Shaw trying to use the defender to screen the goalie. Nice job, just went over the crossbar. I'm not sure Galizzi saw it. Now it comes all the way out to neutralize as Shaw skates out for a breather. Now Hellstrom, number 21, back behind her neck, gets there first. Nice outlet pass to Cotilla. Almost lost it and then does. Now Behind the net, along the near boards. That's 17, Cotilla again, the sophomore. She gets skated off the puck this time by number eight, 
Evie Daly. Daly now comes in along the near board. Blues skates her off the puck. Gets on the stick of number four, Johnson. Johnson centering pass, gets deflected behind the net. And right in front, and it gets poked back into the corner by number 11 for the Royals. Katie Geyser doing a nice job owning that area right in front of the net, helping out Oslin. Doing a nice job there, kicking that puck right back into the corner where it's safe if you're a Royals fan. Under 10 minutes to go here in a quick moving third period. Right in front, nice save by Galizzi and a golden opportunity for Sophia Hoffman. And a nice goal save there by Galizzi. And that starts the break for the Riveters now. And now offsides just barely, it looks. Draws a whistle and a stoppage of the clock at 9.39 to go. Right there, the miscue wide open in front. She's going to be dreaming about that. Although great angle by Galizzi. It was, she was almost in too close, I felt, to do much with that. But almost a big mistake by the Riveters. Would have put them down to nothing. Instead, it's 1-0. Shots on goal still very even, 22-21. to Highly competitive game between these two high school teams. The Riveters out of the Metro East, coming all the way across the river to the Metro West. Now right in front, the wrist shot just misses on the far side, and now on the stick of Lucy Johnson, and she clears the zone just like that. That was another great opportunity for the Riveters. They've got to be feeling frustrated. They've had a lot of good opportunities, and they can't quite... Get it past Oslin, who's just been stellar tonight in nets. 22 shots she's faced. Now long pass, tipped there by number 33 at mid-ice. That was Zoe Wyatt. And now behind the net, Etzel tries to clear it. Nice job on the forecheck by number 12. That is Paige Nowak. Now puck high up, playing it with her paw, number 25. That was Zoe Moore, an eighth grader for the Riveters. Now back in the other zone, here comes Shaw. She's dangerous, stick hands it, and the shot and a goal. Shaw almost single-handedly puts the Royals up 2-0. What a great athletic play that was by number 13, Avery Shaw. Watch this replay and the athletic skill on display by Shaw. Big speed comes right in, great transition to her left, able to get the stick from behind, off her stick, and get that shot off. Great individual effort there by Avery Shaw, number 13. As we look at the replay prior to that, right in front, number 12, that was Nowak, and she had a great opportunity and another nice save by the Royals. Eight and a half minutes to go, Royals up two nothing on senior night. And the Riveters gotta get it going here. They're gonna get back in this the next goal is critical. Now lose. A little early to be thinking about pulling the goaltender, but maybe not. You got to be thinking about it if you're the head coaches of the Riveters. A little early for that, but the question is, when do you do that when you're down two? And now a whistle and an icing call will stop the clock. I think it's our first icing call of the third period. Comes with 8.04 to go. And we'll have a face-off to Galizzi's right. She has also played very well in nets. Face some tough shots. Save 19. All right, face-off comes right out in front. Picked up by the Riveters as they skated out of the zone. That is number four once again, Ella Johnson. And right away, the Royals having a great job at poke checking that stick off the Riveters and getting it right back into their zone. And now back out of neutral ice for the Riveters. And taken right back away by the Royals. Riven is trying to break through. That was number five, Bryn Christofferson. And now here comes number 17. That's Cotilla. And the Riveters take it right back at neutral ice. You gotta think they're gonna start pressing here and taking some chances. They need to get a goal desperately just to get back in this thing. 7.21 remaining, period number three. Riveters now with it. That's number 11 once again on defense. Katie Geyser doing a nice job clearing the puck to the neutral zone. And you think the Royals are probably going to start to be a little more conservative here with a two goal lead and the clock winding down. Sometimes that can, uh, you know, some might call it the prevent defensive types, but 
We'll see what happens here. Now the Riveters skate after it into the corner. That's number eight, Evie Daly. 12 with it, Nowak, who just had a great scoring opportunity go by the wayside a few moments ago. Still out there on the ice. That's Geyser, and there's a little holding there. Number 18 had a little difficulty getting out. Bella Bisbee, and now the Royals finally clear the zone at neutral ice, but it's taken right back away by Halverson, and she skates it into the Royals zone. zone. They wave off offsides. Now a little collision right there along the near boards, right in front of our point of view there. And now here are the Riveters. That looks like number 13, Grace Magnuson. As she shoots it into the corner behind the net. Lose, tries to clear the zone, gets it out to Hoffman, and Hoffman able to just eke it out into the neutral zone. And then Lucy Johnson had it for a moment, and she gets skated off the puck, and now it's tied up right along the near boards at center ice. Hoffman comes away with, with, with Jansen, and right away for the Riveters, Ella Johnson takes it right back. And now they work it into the Royal zone. Johnson. Tries to clear it right back out. Now catching up with it next is Ella Johnson. She comes in, centering pass, tried to get it. I believe that was number 10, Hernandez, and that shot just goes wide left. Another great scoring opportunity and a great save there by Oslin once again. Now 16, Fate Leitner comes in and Oslin wisely gloves and stops the clock as she gets a tap on the head by Etzel. They know how great she's been playing tonight. And they are highly appreciative. Here's that sequence right there. Johnson comes away and then right there, Johnny on the spot, just goes wide left. It looked like it hit the post. Faye Leitner with that shot. Finds some iron, nothing more frustrating late in the game to hit that post when you're trying to desperately get back in it. Now, here comes the Royals on the offensive end. Rowan Jansen goes down in the corner, but she does get the puck to Shaw. Shaw gets it poked off her stick. Nice defense by the Riveters behind the net. That was number 12 once again. Paige Nowak starting to assert herself in period number three. We're under five to go. And now back into the Royal zone, getting there first is number 33. That is Zoe Wyatt. She tries to spin on it, but the Riveters keep it in the zone, backhanding it in the circle. And Wyatt tries to clear it again, kept in again by the Riveters. This time by number 22, Josie Daly. And now finally they clear the zone with under four and a half minutes to go and that puck gets, winds up in the Riveters bench and that'll draw a whistle. And we should have a face off right outside the blue line as we look at some of the crowd here at Minnetonka Ice Arena. Beautiful arena here, very spacious, high ceiling compared to some of the other ones, but they're all great arenas. Very fortunate in this state. Really contributes to the quality of high school hockey, which just continues to get better, especially the girls. They're really fun to watch. And again, glad you're with us tonight on a Friday, watching high school hockey. It doesn't get more Minnesota than that. Okay, now the Royals into the Riveters zone, trying to center it. Now right there at the point. Shot taken by Bisbee. That gets pushed to the door, now right in front of the crease and the Rivers come away with it. That was number eight, just clearing it barely was Evie Daly, but now the Royals keep it in on the far side. This time again, Katie Geyser doing a nice job at the point. And the puck finally gets in front and Galizzi makes the save. She is one tired woman tonight, I believe. She has been very busy. She has faced 24 shots on goal. Having players like Shaw and Hoffman coming flying in at her has got to be stressful, but she's done well. She's only given up two goals. And it's really been a very well played game. And now I believe we're going to have a timeout on the ice. I think it was taken by the Riveters. So that'll give us a chance to kind of reflect on St. Louis Park's year. Their record, of course, I believe was 11 and 13 coming in. So they're not going to quite finish the regular season at 500, but a really good re season here so far for Par Hopkins Park. Maybe one of their best that I can remember getting to a 500 season. They got a lot of W's on here. They started out the season losing to Minneapolis 6 nothing. I think we were here for that or at the rec. I think at the outdoor part there. And then they got on the winning. They were one and one. Then they lost two. Then they won four in a row against Waconia, Hastings, Delano, Rockfield, and Sartell Sock Rackets as we look at the Riveters bench. 
Wondering what kind of strategy they might be talking about. And then, of course, there is Park head coach talking to the, uh, the Royals. And both coaches have a lot to say, as they do. That's why they're coaches. And she has a lot to say there. That is, they're very attentive. This is gonna be a nice season ending win, or I should say regular season ending win here for the Royals. They've looked really good tonight, as good as I've seen them all year. Been very enjoyable night of hockey so far and we've still got 348 on the clock as it looks like the Riveters are done with the timeout. Royals are still huddling over along the boards and now they'll come out and they're looking loose over there. They're hearing the music being played in the arena. They're dancing to it over there. They're feeling loose. That's a good place to be and that guy's got a great vantage point here. And you can see the band was here tonight. Nice high school feeling here on a Friday. Okay, Royals now come out. Again, 3.48 on the clock, 2-0 our score. Riveters need to get a goal. We'll keep an eye on Galizzi, and she was going to, I was going to talk about her possibly getting pulled here fairly shortly, but right off the faceoff, she had to make a glove save, so she won't be going anywhere, at least not in the next few seconds. As she'll face a faceoff to her left, and Sophia Hoffman in to take the draw. One of the three seniors being honored tonight. Now in behind the board, Shaw goes down on her own, and now the Rivers come away with it with three and a half to go. Rick wide near pass to number eight, able to keep it on her stick nicely. Evie Daly now behind, centering pass, gets deflected by, I believe that was Hoffman. And a nice defensive play by Shaw, lunging to deflect that puck into the corner. Now the Riveters, number eight. Daly, shot from the point, goes hard, wide left, back behind the boards by Christofferson. Still keeping an eye on the goal for the Riveters. Gazzilli still there. Now puck tied up on the far side, just behind the net, now coming away with it. I believe that's Etzel, nice outlet pass to Shaw. She does get it to the neutral ice, and Rowan Jansen's there. Now back on show stick, she's got a chance here. She comes in, good defense by number five, Christofferson. She kept her focus, kept her balance, and was able to thwart Shaw's opportunity right there as we approach two and a half minutes to go. Period number two. Gazzilli still in the nets for the Riveters. Now puck loose behind the net. As we approach two minutes to go, picked up by number 17. Cotilla kept in at the point by number 17. Audrey Cunningham for the Riveters. Now centering pass right in front, unable to handle it. With her stick was Edie Halverson. Had she been able to do so, she would have had a nice chance at a wrist shot on Oslin, but it got through to Oslin and she wisely smothered the puck right there. As you can see Edie Halverson right there. But Oslin has now faced 22 shots. And there is the empty net. Galizzi has left six skaters, and this is a good time to do it with 2.08 and a faceoff in the Royal Zone. Rivers got to get possession of the puck on this faceoff, and they do. Right up there, wrist shot, shot, law, loose in front, poking at it. And the puck caroms into the far corner. Now along the boards, and the Royals clear the zone. Stroke of luck there just a little bit. Now they keep it at neutral ice. And they've got an open net to shoot for, and they know it. Now here comes number five, Christofferson. Spins back around. Gets by Bisbee all the way into the Royal Zone. Back to get it. Next is Katie Geyser. Now Hellstrom backhands it in neutral zone. Nice job by her. Anytime they can keep it out of the zone with the clock winding down is an excellent play for the Royals. Now poked again by Geyser, doing a nice job. Now Shaw gets it to neutralize to Hoffman and she spins it and dumps it into the zone off the boards. The Karam's almost getting out in front of the net, but the Riveter's getting there first. 1.15 to go, period number three. Riveter's looking for something, anything to get that puck behind Oslin, but first they've got to get it down the ice as the Royals are putting the pressure on in their zone. Now they finally get it out to neutral ice, and that's number 25 spinning with it. Zone Moore, Moore coming in, and her shot is deflected into the near corner. Under a minute to go, period number three. It's senior night. Coming right in in front, and oh, fanning on it was number 25, Zoe Moore. 
She had a golden opportunity to get them within one with less than a minute. Now the Riveters. Rashad gets deflected, and that almost handcuffed Oslin, but she was right there on it. Now number four skates across. Johnson takes a wrist shot, gets deflected in front as Shaw goes down. Now Rowan Hansen along the boards, and she goes down. No call on that. They're going to be low to do that late in the game. 24 seconds to go. Now right in front. Riveter still banging at it. Puck still loose behind the net. Now coming away with it. Etzel, or was that Rowan Jansen? And they clear it's going to be on goal. No, just misses wide right, and that's going to be icing, and that's going to stop the clock with 9.7 seconds remaining. And it looks like it's going to be a victory for the Royals on senior night at home. Just 9.7 seconds left. They are going to face off in their own zone, so anything can happen if they can get a bang-bang play and then get the face off from center ice and get down and score again. A tall order to be sure. And now time out taken by the Royals. So they're not going to take any chances here. Not sure what the reasoning is for that unless they want to just institute some new players out there. But up two goals. And there are the coaches smiling. They know they've got this one, huh? And it was a nice win for the Royals. Throughout, they just played a really high level of hockey tonight, and you can see they're dancing and celebrating. And you know, why not take a timeout and just enjoy this last few minutes, especially for the seniors? Maybe they'll be on the ice. Looks like there's Wyatt. She's a senior. And they are loving this. They had a great season so far. Sections coming up. We'll likely try to get to one of them next weekend. I do believe that's why they called the timeout, and that's the reasoning that I would agree with. Why not? Senior night. Bring it in, especially for the seniors. This will be the last time they play together in the regular season. So it's also, yeah, it's very, 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 uh, just enjoying the moment, aren't they? All right, now both teams come out from their huddles. Oslin is 9.7 seconds away from a shutout on senior night at home. What a great momentum game for these Royals going into the sections. All right, we're ready to go. 9.7 on the clock, face off. Shaw gets it and clears the zone, and that's going to do it. Five seconds remaining. Are they going to get a goal at the last minute? No, they don't. And there's the buzzer signaling the end of regulation, and that is it. What a win for the Royals as they come out to celebrate Oslin's great shutout win, 2-0. Couldn't be more special on senior night. So for Paul Broden, our producer, and everyone connected with Park TV 16 Sports, my name is Robert Christensen. Thank you for listening. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again.